Hi everybody, Laura here for Honeybee Stamps. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a rainbow treat shop happy thoughts coming at you. I pulled together a bunch of different sets by Honeybee Stamps, so I'm going to get right to it. I have the House Builder Card Base Honeycut Set, along with the Treat Shop Add-on Honeycuts, the stamp set, and the Coordinating Treat Shop Add-ons stencil set. So you can pull these all together and make a, a variety of different things. I'm going to do that house front and canopy. I don't know if you want to call this a canopy or a um, an, an awning. What's the term? I don't know my, my uh, terms, but we're just going to call it canopy. Okay, so for the canopy, I'm going to adhere it onto some scratch paper so I can blend the rainbow color. So this is the Treat Shop add-on stencil set, which allows you to blend you know, every little slit a different color. And I have a slew of distress things here, starting with sponge sugar and working my way through the rainbow order. You could do a lot of different things. If you don't want to do each one a separate color, you could do them all the same color. If you go on the Honeybee Stamps website and you look at the treat shop, what the designers have created. First of all, it will knock your socks off. Second of all, it will inspire you and give you lots of different ideas. So some people die cut the canopy out of solid color cardstock and then just blended one flat color over the whole thing, but it makes it look like every other one. So I saw some black and white, which was gorgeous. I saw some red on pink, which tickled my fancy, but I knew, I knew that when I laid my head down tonight on the pillow, that I would not be satisfied unless I gave the rainbow canopy a try. So that's what I'm doing. You don't know until you know. You know, and sometimes I do this and it turns out a flop. But so far, so good. Now you could see here, every other one's white. You could stop right there. I think it looks great. But I had to give it a go. I had to finish strong. So, um, you know, when you're blending, you got to think in your mind every other color. So then now you can fill in the gaps and uh, fill that rainbow out like it was meant to be. So here you have the rainbow treat shop canopy coming at you full of joy. Now I changed my mind on the house front or storefront. Instead of white, I did another one out of cream. And that way I could do a door and a couple windows out of white cardstock and you'd get that beautiful white on cream, like a neutral on neutral contrast. I love that when you have a rainbow. Something about white on cream, a little bit of rainbow, and then an embossed sentiment. It's like my go-to recipe. And you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's what I'm doing. Now for the window behind it, I'm taking some aqua cardstock and then there's a little oval window that you can put on the door. So we've got a little aqua to go behind the window uh, frames and then a little oval circle that will go like a window on the door. Now I did trim some little slivers of foam tape so that I could pop up that window frame on top of the aqua. And that gives it just the slightest little bit of dimension and shadow that brings the magic. Totally optional, but you know how I say dimension is life. So now I'm using tape runner to adhere the windows on each side. And then for the canopy, I'm gonna adhere it flat on the top with a little bit of foam tape down on the bottom. And that makes it kind of look like it's coming out at you little realistic rainbow canopy action. And then of course, tape runner again for the white door. And then I will glue that little aqua oval right on top, just like so. Little faux window. And then a little bit of gray for a step. And that little step die is from the House Builder card base honey cut set and adhering that with a little bit of glue. Now I took the Treat Shop add-on stamp set and I'm gonna stamp a couple bouquets of balloons, a couple plants, a store sign that says we're open. And for the sake of time, I went ahead and colored these very simply with Copics. Um, I color so slow and I didn't want this uh, video to end up being five hours long. So I went ahead and colored them with Copics, die cut them out. And uh, I changed my mind on the store sign. Instead of doing black on white, I said, why not do white on black? And it'll give it kind of a chalkboard look. So I embossed that in white onto black cardstock. I'm taking the coordinating honey cuts and die cutting that store sign out. So you could really, if you want to zhuzh these uh, treat shops up, there's so many details you can add with um, in the treat shop add-on stamp set. Mine's a little on the simpler side. I couldn't resist a bouquet of balloons, a couple plants, you know, a little bit, little dabble do you, but you can really add a lot more 
uh, you can zhuzh it up to the high heavens. Now for the stamp set, I'm using the Pickup Lines stamp set. This stamp set actually coordinates perfectly with the pickup truck, you know, the big pickup truck stamp set, but I thought that this one that says Happy Thoughts paired very nicely with the rainbow canopy. So of course I embossed it in white on a black, use a coordinating die, and then I'll just pop this up right in the center of that rainbow canopy. Now here's how I turned it into a shape card. I create a standard size card out of white cardstock using my Teflon bone folder. Now I take the house builder, see how I set it on top, but I leave it hanging off the top and that will allow you to have a hinge to create a shape card. And then I'll just take a little tape runner and uh, cover that puppy and then slap on the treat shop. Just like so, bada boom. And there you have it, a rainbow canopy treat shop full of happy thoughts coming at you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, sending you a bushel full of happy thoughts today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.